Well, I'm, uh, hey, hey, there's just, before we get started with the whiskey oh, bottle, okay. Daniel, yeah. there's one rule for this shoot. Okay. As much as you want to, I need you to not bend over. Oh. Uh, can I curtsy? Let's see. That's fine. Okay. It's just the bending over. I'm going to have to get these bottles very Before gently. we recorded, there was an issue of him bending over. Can't have that. It's a Mike problem. No, no, no. We don't need to clarify. <laughs> no, this guy named Mike. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you bend over, he comes yeah. running in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn it, Mike. <laughs> Uh, welcome, Whiskey Bowl. We I'm got Daniel. Whiskey. Uh, we have a donated bottle mm. that was from uh, Benevolent, because we already have Ooh, done a review yeah. on this yeah, one, yeah, yeah. from Patrick Cohn. Mm -hmm. But man, this is a good one to have a backup on, because yes. it was a special edition Del Bach. We love the, the yeah. Del Bach, though. So now we've got to thank the Benevolent Bastards, Sarah Duncan and Megan Inright. Do you know you're the guy? Oh, I'm the guy for the Benevolent, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Sarah Duncan and Megan Inright, you Benevolent Bastards. <laughs> That, down was, on that, that was one. almost a bend, by the way. It was. It was. How about? That's fine. <laughs> that was a lunge. Uh, yeah, I just did a lunge. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but this is a gift from magnificent bastard Zach Whitney. Zach Whitney, you magnificent bastard. Uh, this is a Corner whiskey. Creek. Kentucky straight bourbon. Yeah. So this brand, Corner Creek Kentucky Whiskey, mm -hmm. has been uh, sort of like a sourced Kentucky bourbon for a long time. Okay. Right, so yeah. it's, it's been around, it's been in certain markets, and you can get it in stores. Yeah. It, it's, at different times, it's been sourced from different brands, oh, evidently. so they hop around. Or different ownership. So what's this one? I don't know. Well. They've never known. In all of the time that it's been out, no one will ever talk about where it's actually coming very, from. Very, very secret. This one is 10 years old. So mm -hmm. we're just drinking 10-year-old Kentucky bourbon, mm -hmm. and that's about all we know about it. Good. Evidently, for most of its life, it was a no-age statement whiskey. It was just and then know, they, then Corner they got the Creek. 10 years? 10 years is respectful. Yeah, and now they're doing a 10-year-old, and it, looked, it almost looks like a wine bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all of the classic um, cornerstones of bourbon are there. Cherry. Specifically the wood note, though. A little bit more present. But it's not oily, mm, and it's, it's not it's bitter. Kind of, it's like um, the smell of a fence post mm. after the rain. Yeah. You know those old weather yeah, fence yeah, posts? Yeah. You go out walking in a field, and you put your nose on the wood for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to smell I'm this always now. doing that. It's a, some people like to smell the roses. <laughs> Rex prefers. What? He's from Oklahoma. They don't have roses in Oklahoma, so he had to smell the fence post. Dude, where I'm from, you can grow freaking anything. <laughs> yeah, that's it's ridiculous. true. Ridiculous. Eastern Oklahoma is a different Oklahoma. Yeah, like watermelons the size of a Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and once you get even further from there, it's just really beautiful because right in the beginning of the, um, what is that range? Right. Yeah, well, it's right. like at the edge of the Appalachians, I'll but it's not mountains. There is some apple character and a little yeah. bit of, uh, I was about to say caramel. I don't think it's quite sweet enough for caramel, though. As soon as mm. I tell you... It's not caramel. But, Sherry, to your point earlier. You're going to feel stupid. Well, you no, I know what it is. Ozarks. Yeah. <laughs> didn't know that. <laughs> the you Ozarks. Have you ever been to Silver Dollar City? East, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, East, oh, that's right. We're about East Oklahoma yeah. is the beginning of the Ozarks. Then it Ozarks. goes up into Missouri and... On the west side of the Ozarks. Missouri. Missouri. Beautiful. Mm. Great motorcycle rides. I am, yeah. yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? I mean, I it was, it, as a kid, it was funny just as a car ride. Oh, yeah. Like, it's you ever do the ridge? That one ridge that starts in Oklahoma and ends in Arkansas, and it's uh, called... Uh, is it on the way to Silver Dollar City? It, <laughs> might, it might be, depending on what path you take. And I can't remember. It's a one like pencil cut line through the, the tops of the range. It's a really great ride. Okay, what else is there? I really am just getting classic corn dust, yeah. cherry, brown sugar, apple pie, baked apple pie. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there's apple, but there's something else with that and apple the pie. It wasn't a caramel, it's the, the breadiness from an so apple pie. So it's like if you served the pastry apple pie mm -hmm. on a fresh cutting board. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. The most interesting thing about this is that wood layer. It's more bitter than I expected. Yeah. None of the well, sweetness that I was looking for showed up on the palate. It's got this sort of the wood roundedness up. of like iced tea. Yeah. Right? Or like a tea kind of thing, mm -hmm. but it's not sweet. Hmm. And then it's a little a little bit sugared, and then it goes very bitter and kind of astringent. Everything about this is classic except on the nose. <clears throat> you have that petrichor weathered fence post. Yeah. And then on the taste, it becomes like um, 
a little bit more of that bitter tannin. Yeah, forty-four percent. I wonder if that's why. I wonder if the proofing it down to forty-four sort of thinned out the mid palate. I would expect a bigger mid palate to this. Yeah, it's a little heavy in the bitter for me. Mm. I think maybe a little yeah. younger probably wouldn't have had as much bitterness. Wood forward character. Yeah, there's Just a certain me. point at which you go for tan. This cloudy. is cloudy. Yeah. So they. They proofed it I down. I guess they didn't chill filter it. No, it says, well, non-chill filtered. Oh! I was gonna see if <coughs> going for the ceiling arc would get me more accurate, and I only missed it by a half inch. I would suggest using the blinds as a backboard. Oh. Plink it off that. Now the bottles I'm worried the, the bottles are gonna get in the way. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. They, so if you move the bottles or pull the can. All right, next one. Strategy. Next Strategy. One. Yeah, it is pretty cloudy though. I think <clears throat> maybe based on the, the bitter note, seven years could have been good on, on that. Or a different proof might have saved it. Might yeah, have yeah. balanced out that bitterness. It says on the back, non-chill filtered for flavor. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, it's not bad. Right? No, no, it's, I, it's I fine, like I'm, but I'm like... Being, I feel like I'm being picky, because there's the, stuff in here that's well executed. How much is it, I wonder? Yeah, a 10-year-old. 60 bucks. Hmm. Yeah. We have Jeremy the Virus Huang. <clears throat> so this bottle just won the Whiskey of the Year, yeah, but you guys didn't like it a year ago. Remember the Israeli distillery, m &H? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. There's some stuff I edited out of that video. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it wasn't great, yeah. but it just won whiskey of the year. No, I'm not feeling it. I mean, you can pour it was the, the sherry version. Okay. Yeah, the sherry cask version. But that, the classic. Yeah. Wasn't for me, man. No. I wanted to like. It was a cool story. This is just an example. Awards ceremonies. Yeah. Very subjective. We we're having a whole conversation <clears throat> about this with a group that I'm in. Where they, were, where they were talking about, if you know award ceremonies, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't just find something you think is amazing mm -hmm. and then send it to all the awards. Right. Unless you're just like, let's see what happens, mm -hmm. right? Which is fine. The, if you have a broad portfolio, like uh, what you should be doing is looking at what those awards people tend to award. Yeah. And then sending in the flavor profiles only to the award ceremonies that tend to award those things. That is the exact same approach that um, good PR people mm. do when in trying to pitch stories to journalists. Oh yeah, absolutely. They don't just spam it. They Find figure somebody's out, written about it. Right. Or, and that's their expertise, that's their wheelhouse, here's yeah. their preferences, and then they'll sometimes go so far as to figure out their hobbies, yeah. what they do in their free time, to really tailor a story to a specific journalist. Interestingly, you go back <clears> to the nose, and there's almost a little bit like a, like a sour quality. Yeah, that? I see what you mean by that. Huh. I think that's what we were originally interpreting as tannins, and now it's turning into a sourness as we acclimate to the wood. In the retro nasal. <laughs> Brendan Kite, just a thought after watching mm. today's episode, have a tier checklist, $20, $40, $50, $100, where people send in money and tie it to a particular bottle they want to send or replenish in the bowl. Yeah, so That's when cool. we renew, like, hey, we'll let you send things, but it's to restock so you don't only. Have, they don't have to bother with the shipping costs and the right. packing. But the only downside of that yeah is whether or not it's available in our area. So yeah. if someone spends, you know, a hundred bucks for a compass box like, that we need to restock, right. and it's never, it's rare edition, I would need to curate the list based on like, What's available? I only provide the donate button for things I know I can get locally. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's just on me. I could do that. And I think that's a great idea. The more I live with this, the more I'm not really yeah. excited about it. Me either. It showed promise, and there's some stuff that it likes. And then, yeah, 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 it's, just, it's not for me. So, okay. okay. What is that? Number one. I'm, I'm number one bona fide. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can't see because my shirt's black. You can't see that it has holes. <laughs> How's that? Did that work? <laughs> so this is the, uh, the, the training program. Yeah. Fundamentals program. So I launched for, a for whiskey enthusiast. Yeah, I launched an online whiskey program. Yeah. It's not a certification. It's a bonification. Right. And you know how you know? How do you know? Because there's a card. Right. Yeah. You're into whiskey, but are you? Yeah. Bonafide. Are you bonafide? <laughs> yeah, it's 150 bucks and it's a two, if you watch all the videos back to back, it's like two hours. Yeah. Um, but you can take it at your own pace. And the goal is, if you're not in the industry and you're not planning on being in the industry and you're not gonna be a rep or work at a bar and you don't need higher level certifications, yeah. but you're a whiskey drinker and you want to understand more about what you're purchasing. You want to up your game. Yeah, okay. then, then you can, do this at your own pace. You yeah. have permanent access to it. Yeah, yeah. So at any time, once you've passed the test, you can go back and watch any video again. The test questions are at the end of each segment, mm -hmm. and then there's a one at the end, and then if you pass, 
you get a get a bonafide car. And also and uh, double <laughs> as a throwing star. Yeah, <laughs> and this thing is no joke. Dave's showing me. So we've been working on the social media for it now. Yeah. And to take your card and just be like, shh. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're into the triple digit numbers over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you just had to be number one. I, of course I did. Of course I did. That was the first thing that you showed me. Yeah. It's like, hey, look at the number. <laughs> one. That's so cool. <laughs> well, I've never gotten a, the. I was close with Dollar Shave Club. Okay. I'm a founding member. I have a founding member button of Dollar Shave Club. Yeah. I was like one of the first hundred. You know what? Because you were critical to the momentum yeah. of them making all of the money. I should get I, all the razors? Well, no, I was about to say they should cut you in. Oh, 100%? Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't like a call. <laughs> Stop fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.